the country bracing for a new Russian offensive targeting the east as we learn more about the horrifying toll the war is taking on civilians. And President Zelensky warns that Russian forces could use chemical weapons. Foreign correspondent James Lawman is checking it all from Bucha. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, George. We're at the gravesite here in Butcher, where more bodies are being exhumed. There's now an international effort to try to figure out what went on here. French investigators have joined the Ukrainians in trying to piece together the truth of what Russians did while they're in this part of Ukraine. There is anger and sadness here, but also dread at what might come next in Russia's next phase of its invasion. This morning, as Russian forces mass in the east, concerns are growing for the desperate situation in Mariupol. Ukrainian officials have said that weeks of Russian attacks may have left tens of thousands dead. But with the city almost completely cut off from the outside world, so much remains unclear. And that includes the threat of chemical weapons use still hanging over this country. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense saying this morning they're investigating new claims in Mariupol after a social media report from a far-right paramilitary group. The mayor of the city has claimed Russian forces have brought in mobile crematoria to dispose of the bodies and accused Russian forces of refusing to allow access to humanitarian convoys in an attempt to disguise the carnage. These four friends were able to escape. While they were still there, they documented life under siege. With their homes destroyed, they were forced to cook what little food was available outside on an open flame, with shelling heard in the distance. Now arriving safely in Zaporizhia, Artem saying everything we had is gone. With a huge Russian military convoy heading for the east, attacks on Kharkiv have intensified too. Hundreds of small explosive devices were found scattered over a residential area there Monday. Ukrainian demining teams identified them as small, timer-operated landmines. They carry up to 1.5 kilograms of liquid explosive. This model was banned by the 1997 Ottawa Treaty to reduce civilian casualties. Military experts say Russia plans to create an arc of occupation from Kharkiv in the north down to Mariupol in the south. This would create a land bridge with Crimea, which they annexed in 2014. The danger of Russian occupation becoming clearer every day in the towns now liberated from their control. Austrian Chancellor Karl Nehammer has become the first Western leader to meet Putin since his invasion began and confronted him over the atrocities in Bucha. He said talks were very direct, open and tough, but when he raised the possibility of in-person talks with Ukrainian President Zelensky, Putin gave no reply whatsoever. The battle ahead may result in even worse atrocities. This man, Alexander Dvornikov, is the general now in charge of Russia's invasion. He led Moscow's campaign in Syria gaining infamy for indiscriminate attacks on civilian homes. Now, Ukraine says more than 1,200 civilians have been found dead in this Kyiv region. That is in addition to the more than 4,000 Ukrainians who've been killed in this war so far. And all this before Russia starts the second phase of its invasion. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.